Today, we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be carving pumpkins. Stop it. Oh, I got the corner of the table. <laughs> Sorry, that really hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna be using regular stuff like normal people, you know, kits, markers, stuff like that. And uh, Mike, what are you doing? Using the worst Dremel tool ever made. You have hiccups? No, I'm waiting for you. Oh, I thought you were hiccuping. Hey, ow. <laughs> hey, viewers, we're back. And today we're gonna do some pumpkin carving. What did you just do? I turned on the camera. <laughs> I know, but what was that? I put it under my leg. She's sitting on the remote control for the camera. So I don't drop it. We're back because we've been doing pumpkin carving for way too long, like days upon days upon, it's like two days, but still. Four. What time is it? Point is, we are wearing day two's clothes because truth be told, it is day two. We already had an intro and Mike didn't like it, so we're doing it again. And then we're actually doing it again, again, because the first one turned out blurry. What? <laughs> So we're redoing our intro now from the end of the video at the beginning of the video and also because I wanted to add a warning that if you've ever not used a Dremel tool or even if you have used a Dremel tool, be careful when you Dremel tool a pumpkin because <laughs> it's messy and it'll spray in your eyes. And on everything else yeah, imaginable. Including our cameras, which we had to cover up at one point because it got real nasty. Pumpkin also hardens very quickly, so it will harden on everything you own, including clothing. Yeah. Uh, basically, we're not responsible for anybody hurting themselves with a Dremel tool trying to carve a pumpkin. So yes, we are going to be carving pumpkins, and I'm going to do it, or will have done it in the past, the good old-fashioned way, and Mike's using power tools. By good old-fashioned way, she means she's going to cheat and do something really, really cool. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> but first, I should probably open it up and scoop out all the guts. Look, it's on me. The gloves aren't really helping right now. Oh, my pumpkins are rolling. Do you want to see it? It's looking pretty good. Bet you wish you had a scoop right now. It's going to be really good. Or really, really bad. Oh, gosh. Okay, so actually I have a genius plan. I'm going to scrape off more of the inside so I have less to cut through on the outside. Oh, it touched my elbow. Oh, it stuck to my hair. Oh, that's gross. Look at those hairy arms. Can you not? Seriously? Want to check out my guts? Take a look down there. <laughs> Good thing we put down cleaners. What? No. Clean stuff to keep it clean. Yes. It's a zombie movie. No guts, no glory. Is that how that goes? I'm just imagining. Is it friends that they wore a turkey on their head? Can you Mr. imagine Bean. Mr. Bean getting stuck in there? You'd have to be dumb enough to put your head in a pumpkin first. Mm. I don't think I'm that dumb. <laughs> Didn't you get your head stuck in something before? I did. I got my head stuck in a stairwell banister and they had to call the fire station to get me out. This isn't about me. We're, we're looking you were at your pumpkin. <laughs> I was a child. So we're going to make some pumpkin seeds out of this. By we, I mean I, because you're not going to want to touch this stuff after you're done. I don't want to touch it now. That's why you got gloves. It goes right through it like it's... You can definitely feel all of the things. Like it's super slimy and gross. Oh, so much. How many seeds do you think come in each pumpkin? Too many. Do you remember that time like a few months ago when I grew a pumpkin and I was so excited? And then I went out one day and uh, it had deflated. You're just waiting for me to hit my head on that light, aren't you? Pretty much. Not gonna happen. I'm kind of offended right now that your elbows are orange pumpkin gut free. My arms are longer. Oh snap, I found your pattern. Now we know what he's making. I don't even think you know what you're making. Oh, I know. Ready? It's gonna take all of this, lots of stuff. It's gonna take your cell phone? No, not that. And uh, back to me. Okay, now that it's clean, I'll freehand my design. Okay, so try not to take too much joy in this, but I bought this dumb kit because they showed bats, which was a crucial part to my pumpkin. And all the stencils are cats and witches and witches and whatever that is. I can't see it from the back. And a skull and a witch. They did not give me a bat. So when I said I was freehanding it, I guess I really was going to. I was gonna freehand the shape and then get a bat in there. Uh, now it's gonna look ugly. Right at the back of your pumpkin already does. Shut up. It's all about the front. That's all that matters. <laughs> All right, come check out my awesome circle. It's actually really great, considering it was freehand, don't you think? 
Okay, ready? Yeah. Watch, it's gonna snap off my terrible leaves. Oh, it didn't! Awesome! <gasps> oh, that's some really clean carpeting out there. Yeah, well, I still have stuff to do, but I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, especially for hand tools. Right? See, cheaper can be better. Not everything expensive is necessary. Mike? Don't get it. Mm, anything, I don't know, shut up. <laughs> Go away. Doesn't it look really good? I got rid of the grass though, because it just looked terrible. It's not gonna work for what I needed. And then I took the inside or the outside and put it inside because I need a base. And now I'm just gonna start doing my stuff to make my pumpkin awesomer. Hold on, stay there. Ah! So I got some stuff. I don't know what ones I'm using yet. Just disregard the Christmas that's happening. It's gonna be great. See so you cutting out some bum cheeks there. How's your pumpkin doing? It's good, it's got a circle. It does have a circle. Did you freehand that? Yes, it did actually. Okay, okay. Well, for the most part, I mean, I started with a circle, but it turned out bad. So I just freehanded the rest. How's the inside look? Like a pumpkin. So I'm gonna try using the Dremel tool now and we'll see how it turns out. I'm really scared because when you started, it sent like juices all over the studio, so. That's because I was using a blade. Let's see what a thing is for metal. <laughs> it's effective, Lee Messy. So, um, it works. It works pretty decently but uh, it's a little bit messy. Just a little. You look covered in pumpkin. <laughs> what is it, shrapnel, yes. Tiny pumpkin shrapnels. It doesn't look that bad until you go up close. All right, so day one was a struggle. And a mess. Yeah, and day two is just starting now. So now we're gonna go over what we've done so far and what we learned from what we did so far. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. Well, I carved out a really nice circle. I'm quite proud of it. Then I shoved in some fake grass, very technical stuff. And I've also painted some dollar store houses. They were Christmas houses. They're going to be Halloween houses now. And. We can't forget that I taped up a garbage bag to some cardboard. That's pretty much all I've done so far. Is there anything that's gonna be or are we gonna find out later? You'll find out later. But no, 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 wait, there's more. I actually did do other things. I painted some toothpicks. They're going to be spikes of death and mounds of logs. <laughs> I'm just recycling over here. Uh, I'm kind of making it up as I go since my original plan has changed a little and I'm hoping that it's gonna turn out good, so. But it's less messy than yours, so let's go show them that. <laughs> We had to make shift a, a nice camera cover so that we didn't destroy everything. There were guts everywhere. How's your shirt from yesterday, by the way? Actually, it's pretty much orange. So I noticed you stopped using your stencil. Is there a reason for that? Um, no, because it just, it wouldn't work that way. I recall you saying that you punched through. You said there were holes in it. So no, where? They're all, they're all filled, they're good. How'd you fill them? With pumpkin guts. Pumpkin guts. So I can expect more noise and mess? Oh yeah. All right. That's all today's gonna be. All right, so that's where we're at. I've got fake grass and a mound of tape, and Mike's got the start of a bee butt.
Okay, so we're done for the most part. The most important part of the job is the cleaning up. It's a mess in here. So uh, we're gonna do that and then we'll look at each other's pumpkins and see what we did. Everything is clean. We are at a clean-ish table. We were not prepared. Oh yeah, I've gone through two sets of clothes and they're pumpkin stained. I was surprised he didn't look like Arnold <laughs> from Magic School Bus. You didn't see that episode, probably. He turned orange because he ate so much carrots. Anywho, it was super satisfying to clean everything. It took a very long time, and I think my favorite part was actually just sweeping away all the debris from the floor. Now that all that is done, and even though you guys have watched kind of as we went, it's time to see the finished product. So bring on the pumpkins. Oh, I, I have to do it? Is it really, Is it because really I'm a guy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke from our last video together, so watch that. Okay, here's the truth. He decided we needed super large pumpkins, which came in handy, not gonna lie. But each one of these is easily, oh my God, like 30 pounds. So I have done way too much, way more than anticipated exercise. And my muscles are, look at these bad boys. I'm pretty sure you're the one that sent us to a specific store when you saw the giant pumpkins and said they were $5 and let's get them. Yes, but- and You picked out specifically from every single bin the biggest pumpkins you could find. Also, yes. However, I didn't know they'd be like 30 plus pounds each. Hey, it's a bee butt. This is the finished product. This is my bee butt. And surprisingly, the Dremel tool is a good tool to use for pumpkin carving if you're careful with it. It's like using a pencil or a paintbrush. It's actually perfect. Very precise. Notice how he's playing at your heartstrings here, people. Don't fall for it just because it's a bee butt. Here's mine. It's so good. I just want to point out a few things that I found working with my pumpkin. And I know you had a few things you wanted to say if you ever recommended doing this, right? If you're going to use a Dremel tool, be careful. Wear safety glasses because it will get in your eyes if you're not careful. It becomes very easy to carve with the Dremel tool, so be careful that you don't get your hands in the way. It's very difficult to tell if you're gonna poke through the pumpkin. So I poked through in a couple spots, and in order to fill it in, I had to use some uh, pumpkin puree that I made from the Dremel. <laughs> when it comes to my little diorama here, I really did enjoy making this, and I started by using little Christmas houses that I bought at Dollar Tree, and then I painted them black, which I don't know how well that showed up in my footage, but I made a lot of items inside using recycled materials, and and stuff like that, which includes the backdrop, which was definitely a cheat, but I printed off a picture, but I did require some skill because I glued it to some clear plastic packaging so that I could put a light behind it and make my moon glow. And I did a bunch of other recycling stuff in there, which is pretty cool because recycling is great. The only thing I would recommend if you ever choose to do this yourself is although it's gonna sound like a cop-out, I would definitely say buy a plastic or styrofoam pumpkin from a craft shop because this is gonna go away. Like this is only gonna last a day or two. And while I could easily save the little plastic houses and such, all the other stuff, it's gonna go. It's cardboard tombstones and such. It's absorbing all the pumpkin nastiness. It's it's not gonna last. I hope you don't like pumpkins before you start doing this because you're gonna hate them by the time you're done. <laughs> and I never really like pumpkin. I like pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> if you do like pumpkin, you're gonna hate it. And if you don't like pumpkin, you're gonna hate it. There's just too much pumpkin. And the best worst part is that if you take a super long time to do this, like we did, you're gonna end up with fruit flies. Everywhere. Yay! So if you see them flying past, they're my new friends. Call them Steve and Bob. So we're gonna show you some glamour shots of the pumpkins in different lighting with different setups and things that we thought made them look pretty cool and how you might be able to do it with your own. And uh, after that, uh, we'll just be done. So we'll say bye now. So if you know somebody who would enjoy watching this video because you think that they think we're cool, uh, then share it with them. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let us know down below who you think is the clear winner of today's challenge and why. If you don't want to pick a winner, then just tell us down below what you thought of it and what you liked and what you didn't like about each pumpkin. Or, you know, any other ideas for things that you think we might want to try. Yeah, maybe we'll carve pine cones for winter time. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not a good suggestion. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Enjoy some awesome glamour shots. You know the weirdest thing is? Enjoy some pumpkin. What? This is the center of the camera and you're over here. I need to be all up in your space. Ow, oh, did you just hear my shoulder crack? Do the pumpkins. <laughs>